that uh, side was Syrian. So you will find Syrian uh, soldiers. Israel did not have control of the whole lake until 1967. Remember what I said, 1967 happened? Six day war? When uh, an Israel six day war, why is it called six day war? Six day war. Six day so the, uh, the Israel was uh, controlled the Sinai, or you were in Sinai in Egypt, which was returned to the Egyptians after the peace agreement with Egypt in 1978 and uh, also a, uh, the Golan Heights. Golan Heights was annexed by Israel in 1983 and uh, Trump, President Trump, when he was still president, he recognized the US was the only, uh, the first uh, country and the only country that recognized uh, Golan Heights as the uh, Israeli lands. I always tell uh, my groups that they, uh, even the, uh, the Israelis, uh, they uh, established a, or changed the name of one of the towns there in the Golan Heights and named it Trump, town Trump. <laughs> And I say they all changed all the, the roof tiles into uh, orange color. <laughs> I, I just made that up, guys. So don't go looking for uh, a, a town in the Gunan Heights with the, with the orange uh, roof tiles. Now, uh, we always, uh, you know, remember the stories as kids and, and Sunday school uh, about Jesus uh, calming the storm here. I'm sure, I'm sure Daniel is going to cheer always. This is one of the favorite pastors, you know, uh, topic about calming the storms and uh, but just to give you a, uh, a just a natural explanation a scientific explanation of what happens remember you are 700 feet below sea level and uh, as you can feel the, the the breeze here is very warm hot air and then that's the Gulan Heights it's higher than uh, than the Galilee and the east uh, so uh, usually in uh, transitional uh, seasons especially in the spring you would have uh, cold air flowing from uh, on top of that mountain arches uh, the, the the wind arches over and hits the, the middle of the lake and what happens uh, uh, when hot air uh, cold air collides with 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 the hot air what happens twisters right so you see it now it's so calm but it can happen in a sudden i'm not trying to scare the kids guys but uh, hopefully during the summer we not have any I don't think there's going to be any cold air coming in. It's so hot, so uh, don't worry, we're, we're, we're in safe hands. But this, this is a big boat, right? And the other boats are bigger. Uh, in April, uh, not last year, two, uh, two years ago, there was a tempest like that in April, and these boats were in danger. They had to, they, they couldn't even return the boats to the dock. They were inside and, and uh, okay, nobody got injured or hurt or, or drowned, but even these big boats, would be in danger now when we're talking about jesus using a boat it's a fisherman boat it's around uh, 30 feet long can hold up to 15 people so uh imagine if these waves uh like did you go to the dock yesterday uh, around the you were tired right you didn't have the chance to go to the but the waves were so high that they reached the dock there almost to the uh, just behind the hotel uh, so don't let this calmness fool you. And uh, uh, 